What's up guys, my name is Uncage Games. Welcome back to another Injustice 2 video. Today, we're going to be talking about the poll results for the guest characters for Injustice 2 and also a couple more tweets that Edwin made regarding guest characters. So this video is mainly a guest character topic video. So if you guys are not too big of the guest characters, click on a different video. I'll be back with another Injustice 2 topic video and hopefully not talking about guest characters next time. But in this video, it's all about guest characters. So let's talk about the results and let's talk about some other guest characters that Ed Boon has been talking about. First of all, let's go through the voting polls that happened not too long ago for the MK guest character for Injustice and the non MK guest character for Injustice. You guys already know who I want to vote for and I really want to win. For the Mortal Kombat one, of course I vote for Johnny Cage. Unfortunately Johnny did not win the MK voting poll. It was kind of a stretch because Sub-Zero, of course, he's on the list. He's obviously gonna win. He's more popular than Johnny and a lot more people know about him. So Sub-Zero got 52% of the votes and in second place was Johnny with 23% of the votes. I want to say thank you to everyone that voted for Johnny. I saw a lot of you guys tweeting me pictures, telling me in the comments that you guys voted for Johnny. I know some of you guys voted for like Raiden and Sub-Zero, so that's fine. That's your favorite character, go for it. I felt like Johnny would have been a better pick because his interactions with the characters, like their dialogue would have been more funny, but Sub-Zero is going to be like, cool down. I wanted more interaction between the character, but you know what? It's cool, Sub-Zero, I don't hate him. And now for the non-MK guest character for Injustice 2. This voting poll was a lot more like closer than the last one, but it winded up being our boy Spawn winning the voting poll. I wanted Spawn to win. And he did with 45% of the votes. In second place is Hellboy with 21%. In third place, surprisingly, is Buffy. And then in last place is Terminator with 15%. I'm excited. Spawn is finally, or I'm hoping, Spawn is finally going to show up in a NetherRealm game. Rumors has been flying around for a long time that Spawn was going to show up in a NetherRealm game since like the beginning of MKX. So finally, it's looking good for our boy Spawn. And then after that, Ed Boon tweeted a couple more pictures of Spawn saying a lot of people want Spawn and is this the character that you guys wanted and yes it is but that is not the exciting part Spawn being in Injustice 2 that's cool but this next tweet had me like in shock no we wanted Hellboy wrong character Ed Boon replied what about both oh my goodness can you guys imagine us getting Spawn and Hellboy and also Sub-Zero as a guest character in Injustice 2 that is more guest characters than I thought that we were gonna get I was positive we're going to get at least one. I didn't see two coming, but now there's a chance that we get three. We got four guest characters in MKX, and now there's a chance that we might get four characters in Injustice 2. But we got to wait and see. For all we know, this could be a troll tweet and Ed Boon just playing with our emotions, and they're not going to give us Hellboy. But we can pretty much guarantee that we're going to get Sub-Zero and Spawn, which is awesome. But if we get Hellboy... Oh, hoo -hoo, the game is just going to get that more intense. And now for the remaining tweets. These are just guest character tweets that Ed Boon replied to. And he pretty much deconfirms. So the first one being, I want Mario in MK. Which one? I don't know why they're talking about MK when Injustice 2 is happening right now. Ed Boon replied, no, we're not going to get Mario in MK. But that doesn't mean, no, we're not going to get Mario in Injustice 2. The chance of that happening is like 0%. There's just some characters that just can't be guest characters. And then the next one being, how about Thundercats? And then Ed Boon straight up says no. So Thundercats is more reasonable than Mario. But again, Thundercats, I don't see it happening. Not in Injustice, not in Mortal Kombat. It's just not happening. But while we're on the topic of guest characters and all these ideas for guest characters, if we get one more guest character for Injustice 2, making it an even four characters, so we got Spawn, Sub-Zero, let's say Hellboy is going to be in the game. If we got one more spot, who would you guys want as a guest character? It can be pretty much anything, but just make it reasonable. Like, have reason behind your character choice. If I had to pick a guest character that's not Johnny Cage, I would say, hear me out here, a Power Ranger. I'll pick a Power Ranger to be a guest character in Injustice 2 because the Power Rangers are fighting the Justice League or they're doing a crossover comic soon. So having a Power Ranger be a guest character in Injustice 2 would not be the craziest thing ever and I think it would be really cool especially with the gear system. You can change the gear and make them different Rangers. Oh my goodness. I'm already on board for this. Also they did a crossover Batman and the Ninja Turtles so that could work too. But I'm all for that Power Ranger. So that's just my dream guest character but let me know yours down below what guest character 
character would you guys want if you guys had to choose one? Who would you guys want to be in Injustice 2? Sky's at a limit, but make sure you guys give me some type of reason behind your choice. So just don't say like Barney because he's a dinosaur. So leave your comments down below. I can't wait to see what crazy characters you guys come up with. Like the video if you guys enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more Injustice 2 videos. My name's Uncaged Games and you just got caged.